What's going on y'all? It's the 4th of July and in today's video we'll be looking at strange and bizarre TikToks that will make you question everything. Does that look like a giant bug or a UFO? What is that? Now that's crazy. Is anyone else noticing how everybody's getting sick again? It's not like COVID sick. It's like you have a frog in your throat sick. You have a pounding headache. You just feel really crappy. It's going around again. Nobody knows what it is. If we ever go back on a lockdown, I'm moving away to another country. That is not an option. So find out what the sickness is and take it somewhere else, please. Thanks. What can we call this? This right here, sir? In our ground, that don't look bumper clock sound. This right here, so you mm. want to play with? Look on the inscriptions. Put it back in a the ground. Uno, too fast. Go sit on pan your ass. I'm tired of gonna keep touching up things that don't concern you. You keep coming and doing it again and again and again. What make you want to get touch the ground, eh? What possess you? If you come up and dig up this thing out to the ground, you don't think say you could get possessed yourself, you know? <laughs> no, man, it's like, oh, you can't hear me. You can't just let things be. You don't think say we have trouble already. I'm trying to live my life steady. Go home. Let things alone before I lick you with that big piece of stone. Cha, I'm tired of you, man. I'm tired. Quick. Hmm. I'm up just spinning. Y'all ever seen anything like that? I ain't never seen nothing like that in person. Can't really get like a good picture of it though. This sighting was a few months ago in the town where I live. It looked like a kind of metal sphere. Say the puppies. Where's this? Oh, Italy? Everywhere having crazy weather. Italy, Iowa, they say San Diego, Jamaica, where else flooding? Texas. Goodbye Jamaica and hello Stingray City. 
the Cayman Islands. Your turn is next. I'm meteorologist Todd Gross. This is an unbelievable storm in what has happened here, and I feel really bad for what has happened to Jamaica. It's a little hard to see, but at the last minute, just as it reached the southern tip of Jamaica, which is right there, you can see Jamaica at the beginning of that loop. There it is, and the southern tip is right there. The storm actually started to re-strengthen again. Now, it did lose quite a bit of strength in the last 12 hours or so before it started to re-energize. But that wind has come right into that south tip of Jamaica, and it's skirting the entire southwest coast of Jamaica as we speak right now, late in the afternoon on the 3rd of July. Now, for the Cayman Islands, here's what's going to happen next. It's going to skirt you and for the most part spare you from the worst because it should be pretty south of you. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook by any means. First of all, as you can see, the storm is not making landfall on Jamaica. That means that there's the possibility that it will actually maintain strength. And even though wind shear is supposed to weaken it a little bit more, there's a chance that I, which is taking some good shape here at the end of that uh, loop, will stay intact and therefore you may just barely find yourself in the eye wall. Timetable on that, this is the eye wall that we're talking about, by the way, from an older loop that we have. The timetable for the Cayman Islands is about 6 o'clock in the morning. 4 to 6 a.m. is when the worst would be coming up tonight, Wednesday night into Thursday. Then 24 hours after that, about 8 in the morning, that's the turn for around Tul Tulum. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, on the gas... Uh, I almost said Gaspé Peninsula, on the Yucatan Peninsula. That would be way off geographically. It's not going to affect Cancun directly, we don't think. It will be very indirect there. That's the good news for Cancun, all right? But it's still going to hit the Yucatan, cross the Yucatan, then it may do Texas on Saturday. We'll have to see. Anywhere from Brownsville up through Houston should be on alert for that. So, again, in summary... Jamaica took a really bad hit. We did warn them well on this channel, so I'm sure a lot of folks took the proper precautions. Cayman Islands, that's what I was referring to with Stingray City. That's on the Cayman Islands. You're going to be getting it late tonight. And then the Yucatan Peninsula, that happens tomorrow night between the 4th and the 5th. I'm meteorologist Todd Gross. Follow me for more. Well, thank you, meteorologist Todd Gross. To make them work again. Tomorrow, when you are sealed in the voting cubicle, vote for me, Senator K Bob Dole. I am looking forward to an orderly election tomorrow, which will eliminate the need for a violent bloodbath. America, take a good look at your beloved candidates. They're nothing but hideous space reptiles. Oh. It's true. We are aliens. But what are you going to do about it? It's a two-party system. You have to vote for one of us. He's right. This is a two-party system. Well, I believe I'll vote for a third-party candidate. Go ahead. Throw your vote away! <laughs> All hail President K! They try to warn us. But they have a king here. I have an update on the Boeing Starliner astronauts, but first, criminal charges could be underway on Boeing as of July 7th. What we do know is that the Department of Justice is looking at criminally charging Boeing for the door that fell off the aircraft earlier this year. And victims on that plane testified against Boeing as well. Now, on to the news of the astronauts. So, there was a secret meeting between NASA and Boeing yesterday, and what kind of got leaked from that meeting is that, one, the spacecraft is only rated for 45 days in space, which would be July 20th, but they are thinking of pushing it back uh, 90 days, so you'd have into practically September for this thing to come home, but here's what happened. 
So basically, NASA told Boeing, we don't want to let you undock because we want to make sure that one, you guys fix those issues on a future aircraft, and two, we want to make sure they're safe coming back because if the thrusters were to go out, they could flip forward and burn to death. So they say that they're not in a rush. That, that's what I was told to me is that they were told that there's no rush to bring them home, that they can stay on the space station. They can stay on the space station and they can do housekeeping chores. You know, basically they're, they're NASA's little bitch right now. There is a couple EVAs planned, also known as spacewalks, uh, one of which may actually start digging into the Boeing spacecraft and seeing if they can figure out what happened with these thrusters, but there's no promises on that. I'm really eager to see if Boeing gets criminally charged uh, in relation to the door. This is a whole different ball game. Man, what's going on with that? <laughs> Imagine if you did go up to space, though. You know, and you get stuck up there and you think you're going to come down in 40 days. And they said, no, nah, man, just stay up there another 45 days. We'll come get you later. And you have no control. What's up? Right, that's for aliens. I want to talk about what's been going on in the world lately. So as of June 14, 2024, the House of Representatives passed a bill saying that it's mandatory for all men in the U.S. at ages 18 through 26 to register for the military draft. And if they refuse, they will be charged with a felony. They're also including male immigrants, so if you're coming to the States from another country, you are also required to register. Mm. Not only that, but from my understanding, lawmakers mm. are also considering making women register. Now, the last time the U.S. had a military draft was in 1973, during the Vietnam, which lasted from 1955 to 1975. Now, I'm not saying we're about to go to war, but the lotteries are allying with Russia. In other words, they're teaming up. Now, let's talk about the food recall. Cucumbers, cheese, milk, lettuce, potatoes, black pepper, macadamia nuts, chocolate, coffee, and 13 different brands of ice cream, including Hershey, are all being recalled due to bacteria contamination, which includes mm. salmonella, listeria, and E. coli. Not to mm. mention, as of June 28th, 132 dairy cow herd in 12 U.S. states have reportedly been affected with the bird flu. Also, reports of fruit being mixed with microplastic and rubber. Now, I'm not saying this is a coincidence, but isn't it strange that as soon as Bill Gates, a tech billionaire, expands his farmland purchases all over the U.S., now all of a sudden all of this produce is being recalled? Bill Gates bought $113 million worth of farmland in Nebraska and owns over 250,000 acres of farmland across the United States. Speaking of farmland, did y'all know that it was illegal to have a garden in Oregon without a permit that meets state requirements? Also, I want to talk about these earthquakes. On June 24th, there was a 4.1 earthquake in, in California. On June 25th, there was a 5.4 earthquake in Japan. On June 28th, there was a 3.4 earthquake in New York. And on June 29th, there was a 7.2 earthquake in Peru. Now, call me crazy, but ever since the solar eclipse, we have had back-to-back -back earthquakes nonstop. Now, let's talk about these shark attacks. So y'all remember the movie Netflix dropped on June 5th called Underpass, right? Where the people were having a race in the water during the Olympics and were attacked by sharks. Isn't it kind of strange that the Olympics are being held in Paris this year? But I'm going to go more into detail about that in my next video. Mm. I got 11 more days and it makes five months that I've been sitting in without a bun. Even though I get discouraged at times. I'm still holding my head high, and even though the support stopped, I told you I won't stop putting y'all on game. Hopefully, I come home soon. Mm. Man, free Colin Bellamy because he put this on Teeth game. can heal, and they should not be deteriorating. And if they do have a little decay, they have the ability to heal themselves, as every other body tissue does. So why aren't they healing? Maybe they haven't been given the right times, or they have not been given the right conditions. If you don't drink adequate water, that saliva does not have the ability to bathe, soothe, nourish, and heal. Internal fluid would be your blood and your lymph, and remember. 
remember what the lymph does, it sweeps away waste from the tissues. Remember what the blood does, it comes along with the nutrition, it comes along with the oxygen, it comes along with the water, the white blood cells. So this internal fluid is bathing from the inside and your external fluid is your saliva. Their quality is totally dependent on fresh air, sunshine, not taking anything in that will harm it, going to bed early, exercising every day, having a nourishing diet. Teeth are the only exposed bones in the body and just as if a bone breaks, it'll heal. Mm. Snap, y'all see that? Hmm, real or CGI? Yeah, let me know. Yeah, let's see the close-up. I'm uh, spinning. Take a look at this performance by Will Smith, and what do you notice about this performance? The song itself he is talking about God, but look at the symbolism in this uh, right. performance. You see the uh, ring of fire, the circle, and all kinds of different things throughout this performance that is uh, truth in plain sight. They are literally showing you what they are really about yeah he can talk about god in this song but which god is he really mm. referring to because exactly from the looks of it i don't know this looks very very strange in my honest opinion now i'm not trying to come across as judgmental or anything like that but you can't deny how strange this performance looks. What do you all think about this? The Ring of Fire. They had the eclipse. Something strange going on, y'all. What is that? Okay, that's weird. weird. Can you uh, film it too? I can't, it doesn't... Like it's just floating yeah, there too. That's weird. It's moving though. It is, it's going from left to right. Slide. Yeah, but to be that long? Does it? That's exceptionally weird. If someone else... There's got to be some balloons. Yeah, there's oh, there's got to be some balloons, huh? So we all remember the robot off of Avatar, right? Yeah, we got people out here building these transformer ass exoskeletons. And with just a little bit more money, you can build an Iron Man suit. And now this has me thinking, what about the technology that we haven't seen? Because if we're seeing this, <laughs> how can I put this? They have something that is expeditiously more upgraded than this. Yeah, because Robotics in 2024 has definitely been upgraded. Like just imagine gang, imagine looking at this with armor on it. Everything about this screams the avatar. Like y'all can't tell me that robot didn't remind y'all of this. Autobots, roll out. Because it's gonna be a crazy day in the future when we actually start seeing these roll out. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments on what y'all think about this avatar ass robot in the comments. Like a follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. And remember, if y'all want to learn the sauce on how to blow up on social media, comment down below ATM. There's something really strange going on here, and if something ends up happening to me, I just hope that this video can maybe explain it.
Okay, so I have these two mirrors in my room. As you can see, they're pretty normal looking mirrors. But I was cleaning and I had them kind of set up like this. And I noticed something really weird. Just yeah, watch. See, when you look through the mirror into the other one, it becomes like a window. And there's this huge warehouse grocery store or something down there. But wait, it, it gets even crazier. Watch this. the moment of truth. Three, two, one. Whoa. What the hell? What is this place? Hello? Where does it go? See, you'd be some crazy things in the sky if you actually pay attention. You can actually see it. Definitely not alone in here. Kind of look like a star. Oh my god, he's going in the water. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Get, out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. You're probably about to fall or something. Y'all not find it weird that a country with $35 trillion in debt is the one that's giving us a credit score? That's crazy. Make it make sense. I don't think it does make sense. Now, there is more new details I received about the giant Antarctica black hole weather anonymously spotted near Cape Town. They're standing that it could be a UFO, but nobody is quite sure what the giant black hole weather anonymously appearing in the early hours over Cape Town, South Africa, actually was. But some reckon it's otherworldly. Okay, so they are stating that the black hole weather phenomenal has left experts baffled after it appeared on a satellite for just a few seconds. So the strange occurrence.
occurrence appears to have happened over Cape Town, South Africa, earlier this week at around 5 a.m. Satellite images show that around 83-foot waves were spotted off the coast, which all of a sudden just disappeared for no reason, with a giant black hole appearing on the Im imagery instead. According to the weather site, the hole moves towards land before suddenly fading out right before it actually touches down in Cape Town. So, yes, there was something that actually pushed all that water towards Cape Town to cause them to have a flood in their town. So they are speculating that it could have been a F UFO, but they're not sure. So they're still trying to investigate whether it wasn't UFO or not. So you know how NASA told you not to take pictures of the eclipse with your phone because it would damage your camera? Well, that was complete bullshit, and a lot of people did just that. And some guys took some, like, time-lapse videos. A lot of people caught what looks like the moon next to the eclipse while the eclipse is happening. A lot of people. Seriously, you can find it here if they don't block the video. Like, I posted one, and immediately it was removed from the FYP for being unoriginal or low quality. It was very high quality, and it was a duet. So, you know, probably suppression, but I told you. People were talking about the moon and the sun not being in alignment during the eclipse, and everybody called us crazy. Everybody. But then, what is that next to the eclipse? If that's not the moon... What is it, and why does it look like the size, shape, and topography of the moon? It have y'all seen the videos with like the invisible spheres, right? People have caught these spheres, and that's what's eclipsing the moon, and there's multiple of them in the sky. You know, it's not just one of them. I'm going to try to get that. I know I had it on one of my past videos, but I'm going to try to get that and put it on here. This is the head of Joe Biden's economic council. The US government can't go bankrupt because we can print our own money. It obviously begs the question, why exactly are we borrowing in a currency that we print ourselves? I'm waiting for someone to stand up and say, why do we borrow our own currency in the first place? Mm -hmm. Like you said, they print the dollar. So why, why does the government even borrow? Well, um, the... Uh, so the, I mean, again, some of this stuff gets, some of the language that the MM, some of the language and concepts yeah, are just confusing. Say. Of course, he knows that even though it's confusing, you think he could explain how money works, right? I mean, the government definitely prints money, and it definitely lends that money, which is why okay. uh, the government definitely prints money, and then it lends that money by, uh, by selling bonds. Uh, is that what they do? Did he just ask the reporter? <laughs> what how it actually works they they um they yeah they they um they sell bonds yeah they sell bonds right so yeah uh uh, uh yeah yeah i got that. yeah that's that's exactly what we do that's ex that's exactly how money works. they sell bonds and people buy the bonds and lend them the money yeah so A lot of times, a lot of times, at least to my ear, with, with MMT, the, the language and the concepts can be kind of unnecessarily confusing, but there is no question that the government prints money and then it uses that money to, um, uh, 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 so, um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just, I don't, I can't really talk, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what they're talking about, like, because it's like. He doesn't under, uh, understand how. He doesn't understand how the government prints money and then spends it and how that's operational. The government clearly prints money, it does it all the time, and it yeah. clearly borrows. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this debt and deficit conversation. So I don't think there's anything confusing there. What? My man was clearly confused the entire time and said, I don't think there's anything confusing there. I mean, they print it and they borrow. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Some crazy people up in office, man. I don't know what's wrong with them. But yeah, these are some of the most strange and bizarre Tic Tacs that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notification bells on. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.